All right, so today we are going to create a random story generator. I want to create a storytelling machine. So uh, well, let's um, uh, remove our um, cat character. And then I want you to choose a backdrop. Think about what kind of backdrop you need for a character to be telling you a story or be presenting you a story, okay? So this backdrop could be something like a park. Hundreds and hundreds of years ago, the Greek used to tell stories in amphitheaters. So here there's a Greek theater. So I'm going to put my story in this Greek theater over here. And then I want you to choose a character. Now this character is going to be your storyteller. This is the character that's going to say, here, here, we are going to listen to the story about the three little pigs or whatever story that they're going to talk about. But we are going to create uh, our own story generator, okay? So let's go choose a sprite. Jamie, Jamie looks cool. I'm gonna have Jamie tell the story. Jamie is standing in the middle of my Coliseum, my amphitheater, and he is going to be telling the story. Let's say we had um, a, a template. Let's say the template is called the three little pigs. So a template means, uh, usually a template is like a shape uh, that you find on some books or rulers, and then you put it onto a piece of paper and then you cut around it, and then uh, it makes that piece of paper. So a template uh, for our game is about creating an outline for our story so that all the stories that we're generating are going to be in that similar vein, okay? So let's start with The Three Little Pigs. But The Three Little Pigs is a story that we already know of. So we're going to create two random parts. Instead of saying three little pigs, we're going to have a random number at the start. It could be three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up to 10, right? And then instead of three little pigs, we're going to change little so that they can be big or small or pink or hairy uh, or anything like that. And then for pigs, we're going to change it to another random thing and random creature. Uh, so wolves, puppies, kittens, uh, ducklings, anything like that, okay? So we're going to create uh, a story name generator based on the template of the three little pigs. All right, so Jamie is going to talk first. So he's going to say, uh, when we uh, press on the, um, the flag, we're going to get Jamie to say something like this. Go to looks and say hello for two seconds. And then he'll say, uh, the next story is about for two seconds, okay? And then before we say what the story is about, we're going to do some randomness. So let's create three variables. And then we're going to go like this. Set my variable. Instead of my variable, we're going to say, rename it to number. Okay, rename it to number. So these are the three blocks so far. So it goes, hello, the next story is about, and then we are setting the number to zero. Actually, for the three little pigs, the number is not zero. The number is three, right? So let's change that to three first. If you know what we're doing, if you know how to do the randomness, then you can also set the randomness. But uh, if you're not sure how to do it, then just uh, follow along. All right. So we go say hello, the next story is about three, okay? So we want our character to say the name of the, uh, the story. So here we go say something for, we're going to make it six seconds. We go into operators. And then we look for join apple and banana. You drag it up to replace hello. Uh, make sure the left side of it is touching the hello um, pillbox, and then that's going to replace the hello, okay? So join apple and banana. 
What this does is it joins two words together. Okay. So we go here. And then I want you to do this two more times. Okay, join apple and banana. Drag another join apple and banana to banana. So now it looks like join apple, apple, banana. And then one more time, you drag it to the last banana. So here we got four joins joined together, uh, three joins joined together. So join apple, 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 banana. And then we can change it now to, uh, to the first number can be, I mean, the first word can be number. Oh, sorry, it's the second one. So it's the uh, three little pigs. When I press that, it always, it, the words are connected. Ah, oh, good. So if the words are connected, that's a fantastic, uh, um, uh, reminder there. Okay, so uh, watch this. After the, you have to also put a space. Okay, you have to put a space in. And then before little, you also put a space. And then before pigs, you also have to put a space. That's something I almost forgot to tell you. So now, instead of having three little pigs, let's start randomizing it. Let's go to operators and then change the number three to a number between um, two and 10. Now the story is going to be any number between two and 10. So it could be the two little pigs or it could be the 10 little pigs. So when I press the play button, the flag, hello, the next story is about the two little pigs, right? If I press it again, it's going to be another random story. Hello, the next story is about the nine little pigs. Okay, so uh, now we're starting to randomize the number, but we're going to keep doing more. We're going to random little and randomize pigs as well. So over here on, uh, on variables, I want you to type, uh, make a list and call it um, uh, describe. Okay, and then make it for all sprites. Describe, so it's a describing word. So it's little, big, uh, cross, pleasant, anything like that, okay? The list name is called describe, D-E-S-C-R-I-B-E. <clears throat> and then we hit okay. And then we also need to do something here. Instead of say the three little pigs straight away, we need to detach the say because uh, we don't want to say anything yet. We need to start randomizing uh, the items inside our, um, our list. And now instead of little, we're going to have to uh, think of some, uh, some describing words. So make sure you've created the describe list. And then we're going to add some things into describe, okay? So let's go like this. Add little to describe because we have little pigs, right? Add big to describe. And then add a final thing, happy to describe, okay? So I'm just adding three at the moment, but you can add more later, okay? The reason I'm adding three first is because we want to make sure that it can work first. After we have these three items in the list, we're going to um, uh, now put in a random item into little, okay? So let's attach the say again, if you have lots of things to add, then you can add more things, okay? But uh, uh, you don't have to add lots. Uh, like me, I've just added three, but you can add more, like also cranky, 
uh, you can add like angry and you can also add something like um, uh, purple like, uh, colors and things like that, okay? But whatever you've added, make sure you add lots of, th lots of things to it and then you attach the say, um, the say block after that. So now I've got a whole bunch of items in my describe word. And now I'm going to put uh, a random item from describe inside little. So I just go item one of describe, but instead of item one of describe, I'm going to make, um, make this a random item. So I go into operators and then I pick a random number between one and the length of the list. Length of describe, of describe like that. So make sure you have this block here. Item, pick random one of length of describe, of describe. So the final block we need is to make another list and call it animals, okay? So let's press on make a list and we'll create another list called animals, okay? So press on make a list and call it animals. And then you do the same thing again. So let's make sure we disconnect our say, um, say block that way we can add things to animals so here add things to animals make sure you put a space in front of it again so pigs of course and then we add another thing um, birds and then add another thing puppies and then add another thing uh, kittens to animals. Make sure you put a space in front of each one. Christina, you have a question? We're going too fast and I missed the last lots of steps. So I'd, um, for me, my one doesn't really like say any. So when I click the thing, it says first hello, then and then then our first story is about um, and then it kind of like it just has the number. It doesn't like. It doesn't have. It doesn't have any of the describing words. That's all right. So, um, uh, I'll just drag away the the later stuff. So here, have you got um a list for describing words already? Yep. Yep. So you've added a bunch of words to describe, yeah. right? I added three. Great. Three is good. And then, do you have say? the number of and little pigs down here uh how so i got say join the join number join little pigs for six seconds fantastic so the next thing is you need to make this block so yeah. item so uh you you go into yeah, I got this. item and then, yeah. and then and then you need a this one pick random Wait, wait, one. Can you so item first, item one of describe, right? Yep. So it's item one of describe. Yeah. And then you get a pick random uh, one, to, one ten. to ten. Yep. Yeah. And then you put it in to replace the item one. Yeah. Of, um, of describe. Yeah. Have you done that already. Yeah. And then you replace ten with length of describe, and that length of describe is in, uh, in the lists. Okay. Let me just test and see if it works. Okay. So after you do that, you still need to put this to replace the little in here. No, it's not working. Uh, you need to put this in to replace little. Oh, uh, where's the, what little? Where's the little? In, inside where it says the number of little uh -huh. people, right? So you need to replace little with this, and then you have to join it onto the end of your code. Now my code is kind of covered and I can't see a part from it. That's right. That's because it's really big, right? You yeah, press now the I'm minus. Try. Can yeah. you test the code? Yeah, I'm testing it. 
Yeah, it works. So if you press the minus sign, you can oh. zoom out a bit, okay? And then but every it's time. Doing something weird. So I just have to make cold with the space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. You have to put a space behind all the uh, all of the described words, okay? Yeah. Um. Okay. All right. I'm going to uh, answer Jackie because she had her hand up next. What did you need, Jackie? All good, Jackie? All right. Aiden, you have a question? Mine doesn't make adjectives either. It doesn't make adjectives? Well, Mine, Mine looks the same as yours. Um, Wait, so get rid of the animal ones. So the animal ones, have you, you haven't done the animal ones yet? I have put them in. You have put them in? Yeah. Yep. So you put them in like that. But um, when you play the game, it, this is what should happen, right? It's um, uh, when you press play. Um, oh, hold on. This is uh, so you can um, close the uh, like untick the lists to hide them. So here you press the play flag and it should say, hello. The next story is about the three happy pigs. Now, so if you press it again, it's going to say hello. Hi. The three, the five pig pigs when in describe, I didn't even add pig. Oh, pig. You, you need to add, um, after you've added everything in describe, you need to uh, put in the random item to replace little, right? Yeah. So you need to make this block to replace little. So the block is uh, starts as item one of describe. Yeah. And then you put in a random one to 10 inside. Mm -hmm. And then you replace 10 with length of describe. Oh. Now I did a little. And then replace that, uh, replace little with it. Okay. My still doesn't have a adjective. Mm, so yeah, it should. So it should be uh, saying the the random number and then random adjective and then pigs right now. So double check um, the code that that I have because it should work. Okay, I'm detaching it like this so that you can see it. But this is supposed to be an inside little. Okay. Christina. Um, how do you get the animal list? It's exactly the same. So uh, you make another list, call it animals, and then add a bunch of things to animals. You, uh, oh. And then you have to create another. So what do I name the new list name? Animals. Okay. And then for the animal list, it's the same thing. So you need item num item one of animals. And then you need to pick item one to, uh, from random, one to 10 Where of animals. Where did you find those? Uh, a list item inside variables. And we go replace 10 with the length of animals. Make sure that this one is describe and this one is animals. So now all you have to do is put these little these boxes to replace little and this so other you have the box. big big red one where where did you get that one from so oh, item of animals it starts off as item one of animals yeah, okay and then you put pick random into the number one okay i got it and then you put length of animals to replace 10 yeah i got it and then you put the animals one to replace pigs and then the describing one to replace little. And that's going to make your random story generator. So now when I press the flag, it just says, hello. Next story is about the eight big puppies. I do it again, hello. The next story is about the two happy birds. See, each time you press the flag, it's going to give you a different idea 
for uh, the two purple pigs. It's going to give you a different idea for the next story.